Hello. So excited. Do me a favor. For those who haven't checked out the show yet, are just getting into it, introduce yourselves, Father. I am the overall Father icon, Yusef Miyaki Mugler. And baby daddy. I am AJ, the prospect who turned Mugler. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my, ba- my father, my baby. I love it. Trouble starter. What else? Yeah. Home wreck. I was just kidding. Uh, concert. <laughs> yep. Well, allegedly. Messy. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Uh, so, talk. I have, because of this show, I've learned so much about ballroom. I've known what ballroom is, but I also did it. You know what I mean? It's been underground, and now because of shows like this and Pose, it's becoming more mainstream. Do you feel kind of a responsibility to, to be representing that? Oh, absolutely, because, I mean, for me, coming into ballroom a very, very long time ago, um, I did have the intention that if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it with so much like intent behind it. I want to be able to take ballroom to the next level. You know, I wanted to elevate ballroom. Like that was the only way that I was going to do it. So I do feel a big responsibility now that we're kind of like opening the doors to the world, you know, somewhat, especially my house, um, to give people a glimpse into ballroom and like people that, you know, familiar with it, like the inner workings of it. I think it's a big deal and very, a big, a big responsibility. (laughs) For sure. Not really. (laughs) For me, um, it's all about the journey that I took. Um, and that people are, can get to see that and share that. Um, for me, that is like a heavy burden um, because like that's everyone's first intro of like seeing how to get into a house, what it takes, the application process, the rehearsals, the prospecting, the drama, the getting the votes. Um, so for me, that was a big thing. But also, I just feel so blessed to be a part, to be the first people actually on that journey, and for my story to be told. It's really awesome. I appreciate it. That was a big. <laughs> I love that because for you know a queer youth coming up, they're like some people don't have a family. And they want chosen family. And that's where ballroom comes in for so many, right? Uh, so for those that are trying to get in ballroom, what do you see is like a mistake they made or some advice that you give them? You, this last question. Uh, that, first, know your categories. Uh, do your history. Um, and come in with uh, good intentions. I think as long as you have good intentions and it's at the heart, at the very end, it all works out in the end for you. As you see, it did work out for me. Um, and that's what I would say, for sure. What about you? Oh, um, what advice? <clears throat> you know what? I think people get a little bit overzealous. And then, uh, you know, there's some houses that will just say, hey, you're cute. I love your shoes. You want to be in my house? You know, and then there's houses like ours, you know, where we take our time. We want to vet people, make sure that we're a perfect fit, you know, and that this is where they actually want to be, you know, because our house is fabulous. And we're just not letting stray cats in. <laughs> Tell me about your house. What makes it the best? Why are you the number one? Oh, my God. I mean, it's just Miyaki Mugler. Yeah, We're the highest paid house in ballroom. We've won Legendary, Legendary twice. You know, it just goes on and on and on. And now we have House on Fire. That is major. That's major. I, I mean, that. come on. <laughs> I know. So letting them into your house and letting people see behind the scenes, like, why did you want to do that? I don't know if I wanted to do that, but I did it. You know what I mean? I think it's really important like the inner the inner workings of having a house is not just surface it's not just like oh we're going to a ball and everybody's chanting for your house and oh i'm a vulgar i'm just like no there's a lot that goes behind that you know like we have like alliances and we have like uh dignitaries and all these people yeah it's really it's a really a uh, weld oil machine it's a family yeah. and business as the same that's an entity is that what you yeah, call that really, yeah and yeah. then when two people come in it's you know the family aspect is there but it takes a village of like soldiers to keep a house that is like international europe uh, all over the united states you know so i can't do it alone so i have a team of troopers <laughs> to help me do it. Now with House of Fire, tell me whatever we can expect from season one. What are we in for? Is it just drama, drama, drama? Absolutely no drama. I mean, AJ calls a lot of hell, but he it turned around fire. in the end. The house is on he fire. turned it around in the end, oh, yeah. but this house definitely is on fire. There's drama, there's love, there's family, there's talent. It's all the above. It's all the things you want to see. Um, for me, the drama. Um, no, that <laughs> is it not great. Um, 
I think that's what the people really tune in for. I think that they love the chosen family, but they like to see the inner workings of family and family dynamics, which is IE drama, right? Um, and it's such a cool process, and I really appreciated it. Yeah. It makes you feel not alone, right? It makes you look at your own family. You're like, we're all right. We're all right. No, my it's real. My brother is right. Yeah, for sure. It's real. Your you dad's know. scorned you, and you have to deal with it. You can't curse them out. You just got to say it. Exactly. You know yeah. better. <laughs> now, where could everyone check out House of Fire? Um, hello. Wow presents plus. Yeah. Like, hello. <laughs> right there. Yeah.